Okay, so the last scene we're going to show is the emotional climax of the film. It's where Daniel talks to Lily and sort of admits how he feels about her. Pictured uh, green for this room. What? I don't know. I guess I just I saw. It. Always kind of saw like a recliner in that corner. What are you talking about? Uh, never mind. Um, can I sit down? Okay. You're gonna sit, right? Okay, actually, I was thinking you probably sit here. Okay. What is this all about? Uh, sorry, I just I, I need like um I need like a minute to just warm up and I get into I'm not sure. Daniel. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, Lily. It was me. Um. I wrote that letter. What? Um, I wrote the letter. I, um, took the pictures. I set everything up. Doug didn't actually do anything wrong. How do I... How do I even... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Daniel? Lily, I think about you a lot. You might not know that, but I do. I mean, we've been in classes together for like three years, and you know, you didn't you didn't even know my name until like three weeks ago. But uh. Sometimes, sometimes I can just, I see my whole future, right, laid out in front of me, and I can see all my dreams coming true, um, I can see everything being better, and it's so clean, it's so clear, it's like, uh, I'm watching it on a TV, but other times, I can't see any of it, all I see is this big blur of, Uncertainty. And those are the better times. Because when I actually picture being happy, when I actually picture being content in my own skin, when I actually picture being okay, 
it just makes me realize how far off it really is. But when all I see is that uncertainty, when, um, when all I can do is just picture everything that I know or, or care about just falling away, then I think, uh, I think about you, and I think about you, and I think, that if you like me a tenth of how much I like you, uh, then maybe... Maybe I could find some peace, because maybe then happiness wouldn't be as far off or as out of reach as I might think it is. I'm sorry I lied to you. I really am. I'm sorry that I lied to you. Part of me just thinks... Um, maybe... Maybe... You need me. Just a little bit. I'm sorry that I didn't know your name. That's okay. And, you know, I didn't dump him because of the letter. It was just that when I asked him about it, it brought up all this other stuff about him and his ex, and I can be jealous. It's just that sometimes, sometimes you can be fighting and all a person really needs to hear is, I love you. That's it. But if, if you wait too long, then it can just all go downhill from there. That makes perfect sense. Well, um, I should go. Um, I'm sorry to both of you. And, uh, good luck. Well, we hope you enjoyed those three test scenes. At least as much as I enjoyed. Paul Reiser's Couplehood. Paul Reiser's Couplehood. Available from Bantam Publishing. Couplehood is about all the stuff that's good and bad about being part of a couple. But you don't have to take our word for it. Reading Rainbow is made possible by a grant from the National Science Foundation, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the financial support of viewers like you, and by a grant from Kellogg who reminds you to take time each day for reading.
butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. 